This video covers the HVAC systems available in Sapphira's plugins and web applications, and what types of inputs are configurable. There are three different environments you could be working in, and we'll cover each one. These three environments are the SketchUp and Revit plugins, like what you see on the screen right now, the Architecture web application, and the Systems web application. Let's start by looking at the plugin interface. I have SketchUp open, but the same things apply to Revit. In the plugins, the typical HVAC system is actually selected for you automatically based upon the location and the building type that you choose. So if I have an office in the UK, like I do here, I'll have a fan coil unit as the central uh, and central plant as the HVAC system type. If I were to change that location, let's say we'll put it in New York, The HVA system type will automatically change to a VAV return air package system because that is a system that is more common uh, for an office building in the US. Now it also adapts based upon the building type that we select. So if I change this from an office to let's say healthcare facility, then the HVAC system type changes again. So this is very helpful in early stages of design because it allows designers to get credible results with only a small number of inputs. However, it does mean that if you want more control over the HVAC systems, you'll need to bring the model into one of the web applications. So let's look at the Sapphira Architecture web application next. The Architecture version of the web application allows a, a little bit more control than the plugins over the HVAC system selection. You'll see a drop down here uh, under each concept labeled HVAC system type and you can select from one of three different types of systems. If you're not interested in exploring different HVAC options, just keep the system choice to the default choice, which is a typical system for that building type in that location. Now in the architecture web application, these are templates of typical systems. The user cannot configure those systems. And if you're interested in learning more about what assumptions are behind each of those system options, you can click this uh, question mark icon and follow some of these links to different articles in the Sapphire knowledge base. You should note that changing the HVAC system type can affect the results fairly significantly. And again, if you would like to know more about that, the knowledge base is a good place to start. The HVAC system also interacts with a number of other inputs that the architecture user can change, including how much fresh air is needed in the space and what the set points are that the user selects. Those sorts of settings are available in the Space Use tab. In addition, the HVAC system interacts with zoning quite a bit, so changing the zoning strategies will also change the outputs and the HVAC related outputs uh, fairly significantly. One final note is that the results between the plugin and the web application are often different because the Z default zoning strategy is different. In the plugin it's a single zone per floor and in the web application the default is perimeter core zoning which you can see here. The reason for that is that the web application is designed to provide more detailed analysis uh, for which perimeter zone is required, whereas again the plugin is more of the broad brush comparative analysis. Now let's take a look at the same project from a user who has access to Sapphire systems. First off, you'll notice that the systems user has access to many more system types. Second, the system user can configure those systems in the air side and the water side tabs. For instance, I could come in and change the heat recovery uh, of this system from a default of 0.5 up to 8. Now if a systems and an architecture user are shared on the same project, the systems user will be able to configure the HVAC systems and the architecture user will be able to see the results of those changes, but again won't be able to change those configurations uh, him or herself.